Hello everyone, welcome to my podcast. Today um, I'm going to be reviewing Saving Private Ryan, which I was doing this for Memorial Day, but I had technical issues which I had to fix. So this podcast slash review um, came out already past Memorial Day. So I'm going to talk about the movie real quick. Why I chose to rewatch it, and why is my opinion one of my favorite war films, especially on um, rewatch value during Memorial Day or Veterans Day. The movie came out in 1998, directed by Steven Spielberg. Uh, the movie is a drama, war drama. Um, the movie is pretty. The runtime of this film is pretty long. It runs about two hours and 49 minutes. So it is about almost three hours long, and basically the movie is about um, the the soldiers that basically um, in 1994 when they went to Omaha Beach uh, during the invasion, and you know tried to defeat the Germans and conquer some parts of Europe to win the war, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And basically, it's about this group of men, and they're all, they got a mission to basically to rescue a, one man who basically, and that man had four brothers, I mean, three brothers, he was the fourth brother, and he got lost during the mission, and the three brothers that he had have been killed in action. So, the whole movie, um, played by Tom Hanks. Um, he's a captain leading these um, this group of men on a search party for getting this random soldier who they do not know and hardly care about him back home. So what this movie basically um, did very well, it's the story, the way Steven Spielberg directed this movie. And a couple of like um his war films, um he always have a very good balance during the tone and the atmosphere of the film. Like this movie is very heavy and very um sad, of course, because you know a lot of a lot of men died um during that specific battle, and a lot of them they didn't get chance to defend themselves in the Omaha Beach. Um, invasion, so a lot of people die, and I think that's one of the most um, death that has been during, I think, in the history, if I'm correct. I know there was other wars, and there was a bunch of fatalities, but still, it's a pretty gruesome, um, horrendous war. So, overall, the movie basically starts about this man who goes to a cemetery, in Veterans Day or Memorial Day, and then he basically salutes the captain in the grave, and then the movie starts in a, a dolly and extreme close up of the character's face, um, him tearing up, and then we cut to the scene of Tom Hanks on the ship with his men going to charge on Omaha Beach. So, basically, the movie is pretty simple. It's just straightforward about this man, get lost, and then the, this captain got the orders to do a rescue mission, which during the journey, they go through a lot because they have some obstacles, of course, because they're in the middle of a war, so they are vulnerable to any enemy's attack. So, what I like about this movie is that the drama and the characters are memorable, and you feel for them as they go along on this mission. And a lot of the dialogue in this movie is very, very realistic. And how we humans um, feel during when we are threatened or scared. Psychologically speaking, this movie does really well um, express the reason why people, and especially soldiers, that they come back um, to their country. A lot of them could get psychological trauma or post-traumatic stress disorder. And this movie shows that very well, how this 
could basically give any person that specific PTSD. Because you see a lot of horrific things. You see your friends die in front of you and you, and you can't do anything to save them. And especially you have to leave some some people behind after they're dead because you can't carry them. A lot of stuff happens in this movie. And the way um, Steven Spielberg uses the cinematography for the scenes when they are characters that have to express emotion and their dialogue and monologue. It's very powerful because the way is is he always does like the zoom in extreme close up of their faces, but the movie basically always emphasizes like every time I look at the scene of Tom Hank or any other soldiers in the cast, I always look at their eyes because their eyes are basically showing what they feel. Basically, they don't have to say anything; you just know what they're feeling. So the interpretation. Of their facial expression is very very well done uh, the cast did a very good job in this movie everyone um, is a very powerful very impactful movie in the end of this movie I always end up getting not to tear up because I already seen it but I do feel the pain of these characters and the losses they have to go through so my recommendation is this movie is awesome and it's one of the best war films that I have seen, at least for now. And at least occurring from 1998 and into the present. Um, this is the most grounded, um, most grounded um, drama war films that I have seen so far. And yeah, so I'm going to make this review short. I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Um, I'm going to do a little, couple more episodes. And I'm just going to say thank you for watching. I'm going to be posting it for now on YouTube since I'm still working on the tweaking and I still need to get some equipment for the podcast. So I'm kind of like low budgeting slash um, guerrilla warfaring filmmaking right now. But yeah, so anyways, um, like, subscribe, comment what type of movie reviews we like to hear. I'm thinking to do movie reviews for feature link film. It could be from new to old, classics, short films. This is going to be a new segment. I'm, I would like to review short films from other filmmakers, indie filmmakers. That would be a very interesting thing to review and talk about and start this community for indie filmmakers in the U.S. or somewhere in the U.K. Anyone who basically just listens or watches from my podcast can enjoy and, you know, we could do networking. And maybe collaborate on future projects if you wish. Which I think I have my email here, which I will later put in Instagram information. But yeah, so thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.